breaking, deplorables just got massive win over the NFL. It's over. Ever since Commissioner Roger Goodell failed to get the national anthem protests under control, the league has been suffering with both its public image and its ratings, and the latest numbers from the NFL's broadcasts signal the league is about to become a thing of the past. We've continuously reported that the ratings for the NFL have been in a steady decline, but things are now at an all-time low, marking a major victory for us deplorables. Week 11's ratings mark yet another massive slide toward irrelevance, with the league losing a full 1 million viewers from the same time frame last year, the New York Post reported. Ouch! It gets worse. Only two of the 16 games for the week actually saw an increase in ratings, with the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles game seeing 12% more viewers and the New Orleans Saints vs. Washington Redskins seeing a 10% jump. Meanwhile the league once again saw thousands upon thousands of empty stadium seats all across the country. As you can see, it's not just limited to one or two teams, the entire league is suffering. As a result, Television networks carrying the games have lost $500 million, yes million, in revenue since this whole protesting ordeal began. Some have tried to claim that professional sports in general are losing viewership because of the different ways people consume sports media now. However, if that were the case, then why is the NFL, which allows anti-American protests on the field, losing money while Major League Baseball is setting records for revenues at the same time. Interesting, to say the least. Perhaps it's really not the manner in which Americans consume sports media and instead the fact Americans are sick and tired of whiny millionaire bitching about oppression as they ride around on private jets, live in mansions, drive million-dollar cars and live lifestyles the rest of us only dream of, all because they're privileged enough to play professional sports for a living.